further indefinite integration. You will find this on page 322 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Further indefinite integration. In this section, we use the concept that integration is the reverse process of differentiation to help us integrate more complicated expressions. But let's look at an example. So in this example, first I'm going to ask you to differentiate with respect to x. So take your brain back to differentiation. So because uh, there's nothing, we can say y equals, I bring it up and now I differentiate. Now if I was differentiating, can you remember the chain rule? I will first differentiate the outside, so it's negative 1 times 1, it's negative 1. Then I subtract 1, that's negative 2, and I multiply by differentiating the inside, 2x. And if I multiply this, I get that as a result. Okay, now usually when they say hinge, it means that A must help you in B. And that's exactly what, what we're going to do now. So if I look at this, I'm going to to integrate now this expression. But I, I'm comparing it to this result. So I look, okay, uh, this is the same, it's just there. Now what will I do with this one to go there? Okay, so I will say, it's almost like saying 4x divide negative 2x and that will be negative 2. So I will multiply it by negative 2. Okay, that's what I showed you there. Now, now it's exactly in that format as I was getting it there on top. And now, if it's exactly in that format, because I know that integration is the reverse of differentiation, I can basically just replace that there. And now, I just multiply that negative 2 in, and there, don't forget your plus C, there I was integrating this expression okay without making use of other rules so th this is actually not that difficult but the concept is a little bit difficult in the beginning to understand so I'm, I'm going to I want you to stop the video and do one and then try three and if you can do both of them I think two will be easy and that one you can try then on your own okay but just stop the video do one and then you can check and then do three and you can check and then I think you will be able to do two on your own. Okay, let's start. Number one, A. Differentiate, okay? Now again, I can say Y just to, to give it a name. I could have also write it like this. That, that is meaning also differentiate. Okay, but I decided y is easier. Okay, now before I differentiate, can you remember we always we never work at the bottom with a variable, we take it up. Okay, it's ready to differentiate. Now take back to differentiation, can you still remember? It's the chain rule, so I differentiate the outside, so 1 times negative 1, it's negative 1, and then it's 4 minus 2x3, a negative 1 minus 1, it will be negative 2, multiply, remember I subtract in differentiation, negative 1, okay, if I multiply this, if I differentiate the inside, it will be negative 6, my pen, negative 6x to the power of 2. And if I simplify this, multiply, I will get 6x to the power of 2, and I can bring this down and say 4 minus 2, x to the power of 3, to the power of 2. Okay. So, this is now my answer. Now, I'm going to start with number B. Now, let's look at number B. Hinge, find this. Now, it's almost, and can you remember what I did in the previous? I was saying, what will I do to get this? 
So if I had 6, I just want to see if it's going to work, 6x squared, and I divide it by that uh, 3x squared, okay, so that is going to, it's 2. But to get that, I must divide that, and I, I think I'm rather going to write it first for you nicely down. So I'm going to first start by saying this statement. So let, let's start by first writing the statement as it stands there. Uh, okay, I'm starting with this statement. I just want to get the color. Okay, my yellow. Okay, start by saying dy by dx. It, I'm starting first with this statement. Okay, but now to get it in that format, I'm going to say to get it to that 3, can you see there's 3? I can rewrite it, I'm going to integrate, so if I want, I, I just rewrite that one. If I'm going to, I just want to clean this, okay, because that must not be there. If I'm going to integrate this, okay, 3, the question, this is the question. I can also write this as, okay, because I must get this, I can write it as a half, because I can see this is 6x squared and this is 3x squared. But if I take a half, I take a half, put it in front as a constant, and then I'm going to write again that 6x squared over 4 minus 2x, come on pen, come on pen, Can you see, I want you to see, can you see that this statement is the same as this statement? Because I was just taking the 6 and I divide it by 2 and then I will get the 3. Now why did I do this? Because I cannot change this statement. I can just bring in another step and at the end it must result into the statement. The reason why I did this, because I know that... This, if this is the, the end of the differentiation, then if I integrate, I will get this. So basically, basically, I can go and say a half, and what was that original one? Can you remember? Because that is now exactly that red. Half, um, okay, maybe I can even make this red that you can see that. Because that's the reverse now, okay. So half 4 minus 2x3. And don't forget your plus c because you were integrating. Okay, and then this is just going to be my final answer. So I can just say it as, and then, then I integrated it. Okay, so it's, it's like taking this, taking this, and try to break it up that you can include this. Okay, bring in another divide or multiply, usually, and then so that you can reverse back to that, and then just bring it into the final result. Okay, let's do number three. First going to make space. Number three, A, differentiate this, okay, let's make it Y then, it's X squared minus 4X plus 5 and it's to the power of 6. Now it's, it's the chain rule, so if I differentiate, we do the short way, differentiate the outside, there's a 1, so it's 6, Rewrite the bracket. 
and multiply, subtract 1, multiply by differentiating the inside. Two x minus four. Okay, so if I if I rewrite it, just put that bracket in front. Okay, that is number A. Now I'm going to start with number B. And now here usually. You have to just concentrate a little bit. Okay, I can I can rewrite this, but I think it was confusing in the previous step to just rewrite this. I can rather write it like this. Uh, what did they say that two two two? Okay, so let's just write it. I'm going to integrate to first write the question. Okay, and now I'm thinking, what can I do so that I, I, it's actually, and I think I'm going to rewrite it rather here. Oh, I want to just move it a little bit. So this is the same. I, if, I'm, I'm, if I want to take this and I want to bring it into this, what will I do? I must divide by 3. Do you agree? So if I if I divide by 3, do you agree? Then I can say, that because I'm, I'm trying to get this, 6 and, and don't forget, I think I forgot it here. Um, always, if at the integration side, we say dx. And please look at your way of writing. It's formal maths. We do it correct. So do do you do you see that if I say six divided by three, I get this. This must be exactly the same. You can play around with the numbers, but as soon as you simplify it, you must get this. Which was the question? Okay. And now I can say, and I'm going to mark it in red again. I know mm, it's not red. I know that if I'm going to, this was differentiated, so if I reverse back, it will be integration. Okay, so I know that in the place of this, I can write that. Do you see that? So I can say then, hit the foot and just replace that with, and I want to make it read. Uh, I don't want to make the whole, only that. And replace it with that, which was x squared minus 4x plus 5 to the power of 6. And don't forget your plus c. Okay. Try now number 2. I think if you were able to do this one or understand this one, then number 2 will not be so difficult.